Hello, I am a director of the uh, Southwest Asia Division in METI, uh, Fukuoka. Today, Ambassador Chinoy and Professor Mohanty gave us a very helpful story uh, on supply chain resilience. I would like to comment on the supply chain resilience initiative promoted by Japan, India, and Australia. I have a limited amount of time, so I'll give you a brief explanation. As Ambassador Chinoy explained earlier, Discussions on supply chain rearrangement are proceeding around the world due to the sharpening of the U.S.-China conflict, the rise of protectionism in trade, and the COVID-19. For example, Apple has uh, begun to diversify iPhone production in China to India. Of course, India and Japan are highly complementary in manufacturing sector, and the importance of the cooperation will only increase. And uh, first slide is Japan's FDI stocks in Asian countries. This slide showed that ASEAN is the current manufacturing hub of Japanese companies in a supply chain. The second slide illustrates the both high expectations and difficulties for India. India has a great potential as manufacturing base, but India remains the 63rd place in the ease of doing businesses. Japanese companies hesitate to enter the market because of underdeveloped infrastructure and unique business practices in India. Under such circumstances, as Ambassador Chinoy mentioned, the economic ministers of Japan, Australia, and India studied discussions on supply chain resilience on 1st of September. Actually, this initiative is not for countering China, but for uh, but for uh, make supply chain resilience regionally. And we will establish 1.5 cracks early next year and uh, start discussions by academia, businesses, and governments to strengthen the supply chain. I think it is important for ASEAN to participate in the discussion in line with business reality, keywords are supply chain, diversification, and the digitization. Based on these discussions, we would like to implement holding matching events between companies in participating countries, digitization of trade procedures, and implementing support program for supply chain upgrade efforts. Two pilot projects, as Chinoy uh, mentioned, in India were uh, already adopted. Toyota Tsusho and the Sumida are seeking to strengthen the supply chain by utilizing their manufacturing bases in India. Minister Goyal tweeted about this project. Finally, strengthening Japan India relations is becoming more important than ever. We would like to enhance Japan India economic relations from the perspective of strengthening the supply chain. Thank you very much. Thank you, Fukuoka-san, for a wonderful presentation. And uh, Ambassador Chinoy, or do you have any comments on, on Fukuoka-san's presentation? No, I'd simply like to thank uh, uh, Mr. Fukuoka for uh, making those uh, comments. Uh, they are very important comments. And I do agree with him that the issue of resilient supply chains is not uh, related to any particular country. It is, as he rightly said, uh, essentially uh, uh, aimed at uh, creating a greater certainty, a greater predictability in the business environment uh, in our globalized economy. Uh, to that extent, I fully agree with him. Um, and I do believe that Methi is doing exactly the right thing by uh, bringing uh, industry in Japan uh, closer to uh, decision makers, policy makers, and industry uh, and entrepreneurs in India. I think you also made a very relevant point uh, with which I agree that uh, Japanese companies uh, will not come to India simply because uh, they are invited or simply because they have uh, some problems in another place where they are currently located. Uh, in order for us in India to invite Japanese companies uh, to come to uh, our country, we too will have to create the right policy framework, 
and the right kind of environment uh, for them to feel comfortable. Uh, we will have to work even harder on uh, creating the right kind of infrastructure in India to support uh, the economic development of our country. And I must tell you that the government of India attaches the greatest priority to the development of infrastructure. And so much has been done in the past uh, six years in terms of improving the environment, improving uh, the infrastructure and creating the right kind of framework uh, for Japanese companies to come into India. So Japan has a very special place in our hearts. Japan, the word Japan itself is a brand name uh, in India and uh, Indian business considers it a privilege to collaborate with Japanese companies much more than they consider a privilege to participate uh, or, or collaborate uh, with any other uh, sort of entity anywhere else in the world. But thank you uh, for uh, those very, very encouraging remarks from uh, the director in Neti. Thank you, Ambassador. Very encouraging comment. And uh, Dr. Mahanti, you, do you have any comment? Yes, uh, <clears throat> what he has mentioned, I uh, fully endorse it. Uh, this fact uh, that uh, there is uh, uh, so many uh, uh, gaps in India that would really impede uh, uh, the the progress of uh, uh, any further uh, uh, mutual uh, uh, agreement uh, and uh, 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 the operation of uh, many companies. Uh, uh, the fact is that uh, knowing uh, the impediments, particularly infrastructure and uh, the uh, uh, the bureaucratic procedures. I think several steps uh, um, uh, government and the new government has taken up during the last uh, six years. Uh, by uh, uh, because of uh, those uh, initiatives by the government, uh, we jumped uh, very quickly in the ranking of uh, uh, doing business uh, of uh, the World Bank. So I hope I am hopeful that uh, in the coming years. Uh, uh, will be doing uh, much better work. And I think uh, the uh, reform uh, uh, party is uh, very clear to the government and uh, uh, government is very much into uh, the, the process. I think in the coming uh, years, we'll do much better and that would really uh, facilitate uh, companies from Japan to come in a very big way. But still uh, the, the infrastructure and the level of engagement that uh, Japan has got with India is quite fabulous. And uh, with uh, that, I think uh, more uh, companies can come and can help India in its uh, economic development process. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mohanty, uh, uh, for your comments. And I think uh, there will be a question from the audience, but uh, now I think it's time to uh, uh, close now. and. And today we have very. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. There is one question from Mr. Mark Saburi. May I quickly address that in 30 seconds? Ah, yes. With your permission. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. um, I want to simply answer his question. He says, What was the most memorable job for me in Japan? I must say, the most memorable job for me in Japan was the satisfaction of uh, creating the Japan India manufacturing institutions that we were able to, the gym, the, the, the Japan institutes of manufacturing that we created in India by encouraging every Japanese company in India to invest in what we call uh, vocational training uh, and uh, shop floor production techniques being imparted to Indian labor. I think that was a very big achievement. The second big achievement was to create a framework in which uh, uh, we were able to uh, participate uh, in the technical intern training program of Japan, whereby young people uh, could be trained in India in Japanese uh, techniques, in Japanese uh, uh, you know, uh, economic practices, and then sent to Japan for short duration uh, you know, working visas. And the third uh, area which uh, we achieved great success in, there are many, but I'm just citing three here, uh, is the healthcare sector, where we were able to make Japan uh, the very first partner for India as soon as our uh, Ayushman Bharat, that is the healthcare scheme, was announced by the government of India. The digital sector, again, 
where we created an innovation hub uh, is uh, another area where we achieved considerable success. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Ambassador. Uh, actually, I think uh, uh, India, Japan uh, is very close uh, strategically, politically, and economically. And uh, I think uh, more we know each other, uh, more our relationship uh, would be strengthened. And, uh, and uh, the role of uh, you as Ambassador and Professor Mohanty is very critical. To, to showcase the potential for uh, strengthen our bilateral uh, cooperation and relationships. And today, we, in, in that perspective, we, we had a very good uh, presentation from both Ambassador Chinoi and uh, Dr. Mohanty. Uh, thank you again for your contribution to our seminar. And thank you, Fukuoka-san, for joining us. Now I think uh, it's time to close our seminar and thank you everyone for joining joining us. Ambassador Chinoi-san, arigatou gozaimashita. Arigatou gozaimasu. Doumo minasama, arigatou gozaimashita. Thank you very Thank you, Professor. Thank you. Now it's close.